Hey guys, welcome to the Touchdown Table. I'm Ryan, that's Tyler, that's Jordan. And if your team didn't make the playoffs this year, well, this could be a video for you because we're going to talk about some teams that missed out on the big dance this year that we think have a pretty decent shot to get back there next year. You know, I know, you know, we got these playoffs to look at, but, you know, never too early to start building optimism for next year if your team was not one of the lucky 14 teams to still have, to still have Super Bowl hopes right now. So let's talk about some teams that missed out this year but uh, could be back with the vengeance in 2021 and beyond. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of playoff talk uh, in the next seven weeks because that's where we are in NFL football. So we want to just give these teams some love. And I guess I'll start off with the obvious one. I mean, the Dolphins went 10-6 and six and didn't make the playoffs. You would like to think um, they'll be able to bounce back again and get themselves somewhere similar to that. that that's just one where you think 10-6. and six, They should definitely have been in the playoffs anyways. But um, that's just the obvious one. I mean, two has got to improve. I think against the Bills, he wasn't too bad. I think one of his players fell down in an interception. There was a tip ball or something. He had one bad interception. But I thought he played all right um, despite the score. There's been games where he's played bad, but he's still young. He's got time. they got to get some receivers in there. they got two first-round draft picks, so it's looking up for this Dolphins organization. And defensively, they're kind of already set. Um, they got Xavier Howard, who's a potential defensive player of the year. Um, Byron Jones, who was started to do some more stuff. I think he got hurt at some point in the season. And a good front and young uh, young front seven. So um, they're exciting to me. Yeah, I agree with pretty much everything you said. I've been high on the Dolphins for a while. And, I mean, they had the talent. It's just we knew coming into Week 17 that there was going to be one really good team that was left out, and the Dolphins were that team. But I think absolutely they will uh, be just as good, if not better, next year for sure. And something important we did not mention was not only you said they can be better the next year, and that's because of the draft capital they have this year. You're they welcome. They have the number three overall <laughs> pick, courtesy to Ryan's Houston Texans, and they have the 18 overall pick because they missed the playoffs. So they have uh, time or they have the ability to build their roster even better, even though they just went 10 and five and missed the playoff or 10 and six, excuse me, and missed the playoffs. So. Uh, the future is looking up for the Dolphins. I'd just like to see a bit better play from Tua. Yeah. I think I'll progress in year two for him. Yeah. Uh, another team I want to talk about, though, is the San Francisco 49ers. Mention. Ryan, I know you, you wanted to mention this one for sure. Um, I'm not a big fan of the quarterback position right now, Jimmy Garoppolo. He's never been my favorite guy. So I think if they really want to make a, a good move, go out and get a quarterback. We were talking about it in our podcast. Maybe try to get uh, Matthew Stafford if, if he's out there. So there's going to be some decent guys out there to try to get. Uh, but the 49ers are still close. They have a good offense. Their run game is good as long as their running backs stay healthy, which rarely does happen. But, I mean, they have, like, they're, like, producing running backs in there. It's, it's pretty yeah. pretty crazy. It's like almost a new guy every week, it feels like sometimes. Yeah, yeah it's like, they're just, like, you got them in a hole. They're in a, what's it called? A lab. That's what you call. They, got a, they got a lab running of running back backs. running back lab in San yeah. Francisco. There you go. Um, but not only that, their defense is really good. And we didn't even get to see it in its full potential, really, this year. Nick Bosa went down early. A lot of other parts went down. They got some young pieces as well. I think this defense is going to bounce back, even with the most likely loss of their defensive coordinator, Salah. Yeah. So that's going to be tough on them, but I still think they're a very good team. I'd like to see that quarterback position get filled by someone else, but if they can do that, I think they have a good shot at running it to the Super Bowl like they did last year. And uh, they're just 6-10. and, six and ten, um, It's reflective of the team they had this year, but it's not reflective of the in, like this in, Th th their futures. Not yeah, their future, their future, exactly. Yeah. And uh, because of all the injuries, it was expected to go 6-10. and 10. If they did any yeah. better, that would be a shock. And a tough division, too. Like, Absolutely. I, I just think this was an unlucky year for them. I do also think they'll be yeah. back. Yeah. That's a great mention because of the fact that, I mean, even after week two, you kind of went like, uh-oh, this, this year looks like it could be like a sudden down year for the 49ers because of the injuries that they were having and all the issues that were going on there. Um, I think they still got a good roster. I mean, they lost some of their best players. They lost their quarterback. They lost one of the best tight ends in the league. Yeah. One of the defense, defense, best defensive players in the league. Actually. Defensive rookie. A couple of them. Yeah. Uh, there's just so much that happened with them. I don't see why they wouldn't bounce back. Kyle Shanahan and that offense um, should continue to run smoothly with all their parts and some new additions as well. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be interesting to see if San Francisco to get, can get back to what they were. I think they will. And I think they might even be a team that we could be talking about for the NFC Championship yeah, again next I mean, year. They're not that far removed from yeah. being, you know, it was, it was up, less up than a year ago. That was less than a year ago, and they had a 10 point lead in the Super Bowl. I mean, 
I think, yeah, we all agree. You know, maybe they just get a quarterback because they're such a run heavy team. Maybe if they get an actual franchise guy that they can rely on, maybe it's someone in the draft like Zach Wilson or Trey Lance. Who knows? If they can get that guy, expand their offense more, where yes, they have that dominant run game, but also fling the ball around them more because they have some promising receivers. They've got IU who had a good rookie year. Feels like every rookie receiver had a good year, but point still stands. Debo Samuel missed some time, but he's good. And obviously, one of, if not the best tight ends, I think at least the best pass catching tight end in George Kittle. He missed a lot of time this year as well. So just an unlucky year. I think they'll be back in the playoffs next year, and who knows, maybe more than that. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about how the 49ers need a quarterback. Well, this next team I want to talk about, they have their quarterback in the number six overall pick last year in Justin Herbert. Uh, But they had the the injuries that we're talking about with the 49ers, especially on that defensive side of the ball. I'm talking about the Chargers, if you didn't know already. Derwin James went down early. Uh, they um, They had Bosa get banged up a lot of times throughout the season. Eckler went down on the offense side of the ball, the running back. So this team went through some injuries too. They are a young team, and they showed some flashes of greatness. They won their last four games. Anthony Lane is fired, so maybe that'll spark something. I think across the table, we we don't think that was a necessary move. It's understandable why you might think you could do it, uh, but I don't think it was absolutely necessary. I think he was a good coach, and I think he'll be a good coordinator uh, wherever he falls next. But uh, with that being said, I feel like the Chargers and Justin Herbert are – you know, really looking good for this uh, this jump next year. Mm-hmm. They they are, and there's so many games. You look at their schedule; that <laughs> they were right in it. Yeah, I mean, oh, that's the Chargers. What do you yeah, expect? They, yeah, they they lost to the Broncos, thirty-one to thirty. I mean, they were in it with the Chiefs in overtime in Justin yeah. Herbert's first game. Uh, you could go to that Atlanta game where they won. The Saints actually. lost too. The remember. Saints one was a close one. They I mean, were, yeah, they, the, the Vegas game, one as well. The, yeah, they were the first um, one. Yeah, it's like absolutely. five more wins that gets them to absolutely. Yeah. They, they twelve had, and four. Yes, but they they had seven wins, right? So I mean, yeah, you maybe just take away like. Now it's a lot easier players. said than done to just win those games. Yeah, yeah like everyone's gonna everyone's lose close lose, games. Yeah, like, but, it's, like, and, I feel like every team is like, oh, if we just won this yeah. and this and this, we'd be here. Like, yeah, that's, every, that's what specific, we said about the Texans. Right? Absolutely, specifically we'll for this, later, this Chargers team, you can see. I mean, they're still young. Yeah, they just got their, but it seems like franchise quarterback who's only gonna be going into his second year this year and. You flip flop some weird plays, and in a normal AFC year, ten and six should get you into the playoffs. Yeah, this year was not a good uh, I think they're even a team right now where I look at you could say um, they even have a shot of going far into the playoffs if they they play consistently, and stay get healthy. the job done at the end of the year with the new coach that can help Herbert out and take this offense to the next level. Yeah, I mean, we don't know who that new coach is going to be. Like, I think there's definitely some guys out there that would be great fits. But, I mean, we don't know. But I think, uh, like we've been saying, the Chargers are not far. They finished the season strong. And, you know, just a lot of tough losses. Like, they were competitive with some great teams. Justin Herbert had an outstanding rookie year. So, I think, you know, that's going to be a pretty attractive coaching job because there's a lot of young talent on both sides of the ball. Some guys had injuries. They were you – you could just feel that they're close. Like, you flip – a couple of those games, and all of a sudden, you know, that team has a winning record. So I think that the Chargers have a bright outlook. Obviously, you know, you got to deal with Kansas City in that division, but as far as who's going to emerge as that, you know, biggest threat to Kansas City from the AFC West, it's kind of hard to tell right now. Could it be the Chargers if Herbert continues to, to succeed? And then, um, you know, the defense, you know, they got some playmakers there too. If they step up and make some big stops when they need to, uh, maybe it's the Chargers that, you know, are challenging the Chiefs in the AFC West for years to come. Who knows? But we all agree that... Uh, they have a bright future, especially for next year. Mm-hmm. And uh, another team I want to throw out there that, you know, it seems like every year we're saying, all right, this could be the year, this could be their year, this could be their year. Who, who do you guys think it is? Falcons? Uh, well, probably. I mean, we do yeah, say Yeah, it's the Falcons. Because um, it's just a constant, That's a running joke constant, constant talking table. point that yeah. it just always seems to be the year, and their roster is good. Now, there are questions on what they're going to do with Matt Ryan this year. They have the number, one, no, number four overall pick, excuse me, So they could go quarterback if they choose to do that. But this team is close. That defense started playing better. They got uh, uh, Dan Quinn out of there. Uh, So we'll see what happens with them in their rebuild. I guess you can call it a rebuild. But they they have the pieces. And uh, I think that they just have to put it together earlier in seasons. They start playing good at the end of seasons. And you know what? You have to play a full 16 games games to make. What? They lost their last five games this year. Well, they were still in a lot of those games, so. Yeah, they were in it with the Chargers, in it with the Bucks the first yeah. time, and in it with Kansas it's, City. It's yeah. very similar to what the Chargers were. I mean, yeah. you have a what sixteen point lead against the Bears. You're you're winning it against Dallas, and they come back in a strange way. I mean, there's just weird things that have happened to them. They got the offense we've been talking about for really the entirety of this channel. How good this 
team can be. They just never live up to the expectation. And maybe next year will be it. I mean, at this point, I'm kind of just going to – no, I don't know if I'm going to predict it until I see it, but we'll see. Mm-hmm. Um, another one. So let's just go with the Arizona Cardinals here because yeah. they almost made the playoffs, went 8-8. Eight and eight. They have the number 16 overall pick this year. But their team is young, and their team uh, is close. Kyler Murray – was banged up in that last game. I think if he played a full game, they'd probably be sitting in the playoffs right now, but it's not what happened. And this team was a team that some people were predicting uh, could win it all. They were saying Kyler for MVP this year. And, you know, he had a great season. This whole team had a great season. The defense played better than expected. And there were some really good parts about the Arizona Cardinals this year, but there were just some games where they just did not play good. There were some games where they played phenomenal. There were other games where it just looked like they... You were showing up, just not ready to play. You can't do that, as I talked about earlier with the Falcons. You've got to show up for all 16 games. And by the record, they only showed up for a half of them, 8-8 eight and eight they went. So uh, I think that they're, they are very close. They could have easily made the playoffs this year. If they made the playoffs, I think they could have a shot to do really really good stuff. I think they're close. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's so many teams you look at that are right on the fringe of it. Another one is the Vikings. Yeah, um, honestly. They they've had this weird thing going on where they'll make the playoffs one year, it seems like a tradition, then the next year they'll miss and then they'll make it and then they'll miss. So we're in that miss year, so if we're following the pattern, they will make the playoffs next year. Um Justin Jefferson replaced Stefan Diggs right off the bat. Um that simple. It's not easy to replace one of the best receivers in the league, but Justin Jefferson really did that this year uh with his Pro Bowl year. Kirk Cousins looked a lot better at the end of the year. Obviously, Dalvin Cook yep. uh, missed that last game um, due to unfortunate circumstances. Mm-hmm. But other than that, he played really well. He could have added and got probably – was he still the second-best rusher in terms of yardage? Uh, I'm not Even sure. Even though he didn't play that. Yeah. I'm not sure. And he also was injured one game as well. Yeah. But he had a great year regardless. Defensively, they're really young and really inexperienced right now. So with time, I think Mike Zimmer can get that defense going because he's more of the defensive type of guy in this team can find their way back to the playoffs. Yeah, I think if they get better on defense, they could actually be, actually be pretty scary. Yeah. So I, I think the offense is, I mean, you know, Kirk Cousins, he's, you know, middle-of-the-pack quarterback, say what you want about him. But I think if they get better defensively, then, you know, watch out for them. Mm-hmm. And let's just stick with that uh, team that needs to get better defensively. And it pains me to have to talk about them making a run because, A, um, it would seem to always be talking about it. And, B, I might get memes for saying it oh. because I'm not a Cowboys fan. I have a friend who's a Cowboys fan, and honestly, I've come to respect the Cowboys more than I ever have. Uh, but, I mean, look, I think they were, if Dak had played a full season last, last or this year, yeah. I should say, I think they have a shot at being in the playoffs. I really do. I think he took that offense to a whole new level, and that defense for really the whole season was atrocious. Uh, they had some decent moments, but it was just not good. That needed to get better. But Dak was playing at an MVP level where – what we saw with Russell Wilson early on, that defense was not playing good for the Seahawks. He was playing so good that he'd just win them games. Dak was playing like that. If he can come back healthy and play like that with those offensive pieces that they have, I think they have a good shot. They have the 10th overall pick, so I expect probably to go defense. It's so oh, yeah. weak. Um, we'll see what they do end up doing. There's still time, and maybe some, there's some other gaps in offense that I'm missing, but I don't, I don't think uh, so that much. So I think this team is close. Uh, I'm not going to say how about them Cowboys, even though I technically just said it. Um, but I'm sure all Cowboys fans are going to be like, this is our year. And you know what? Uh, at last, coming into this year, I think we all thought, okay, this could be their year. Yeah, I had them right? making it all the way to the NFC Championship yeah. in my preseason bracket. Obviously, that was before the Prescott injury. But, you know, points still stands. I think they could bounce back. Yeah. I mean, yeah. look at look at the weapons, you know. And Dak Prescott, he was having a great year. Yeah. With Dak yeah. Prescott, you really don't think, I mean, I have little doubt in my mind. If you play the entire year, the Cowboys wouldn't have won that. I think they definitely would have won that division. Oh, that horrible division? Absolutely. Yeah. With Dak Prescott, they win the division. Yes. They got a home playoff game this yeah. weekend. They yeah. win. <laughs> Well, I mean, the NFC East was just historically terrible, and we saw a team that no one expected to make the playoffs um, get there, and the Washington football team, the nameless team, has made the playoffs, and that's one, I mean, you don't really think about, um, like, how did this team make the playoffs? It's one you just kind of randomly got there, so I want to ask you guys now. We've kind of been talking about some, like, obvious, more obvious ones, got teams that were close, but are there any teams right now that you guys think you know, maybe they had five wins or even four wins four, last I year. I got one that had four wins. All right. Um, that you think Can they got a chance to make the playoffs. Yeah. Anyways. All right. So this team didn't have four wins or five wins. They had more. But this is the team that just kind of looked really bad down the stretch. I want to talk about the Patriots real quick. 
because it looks like Cam's going to be out of there. It's not looking good for them. Everyone's like, oh, I guess Tom wants the system. You know what? Tom's in a darn good system yeah. right now in Tampa Bay with some of the best receivers in the league, with one of the better head coaches this game has ever seen in Bruce Arians, with one of the best offensive lines in the league, in a very stout defense. I would hope that that team would be playing good. I hope that our offense would be one of the best in the league. And you know what it is. And Tom Brady, he's playing good football. And right now, the situation in New England is not good. They lost a lot of players last year uh, due to opt-outs and due to people moving on to different places. They lost their quarterback, as I talked about, in Tom Brady, who had been there for such a long time. So really, if you look at all the, those things, there was a reason this team went 7-9, and nine, but there was also a reason that Bill Belichick is so respected, the reason why he is the best coach, in my opinion, to ever coach in this game. Uh, I know there are, there are some other close ones. Um, but I just, what he's done is spectacular. It's never been done before. And I feel like he's going to rebuild this roster. Maybe not next year to a point where it's going to be really, you know, really strong, but it's going to get uh, better and better with more people coming back. Mm -hmm. And it, it was a tough year for the Patriots. I believe in Bill Belichick. And all, every time I see a meme that Tom Brady was the system, it yeah. frustrates me because like Bill needs his respect. He was a huge part of that. And I think... I could still make the argument that he was a bigger part of that. I mean, yeah, that's a good point. Like, yeah, you give maybe give Belichick some guys like Evans and Godwin to work with, and I think things would be a little different because yeah. Brady, Brady's been playing well, but he was put in a pretty darn good situation. If, if and, you want to criticize Bill Belichick, you should be criticizing him for what he's done with, like in terms of the GM. I mean, they have not drafted very well recently. That's true. Like. That's true. He's the coach and the general manager there. Yeah, he has that's so not much a good power. Idea. Um, I mean, well, for him, it's all right. A good but, coach. I mean, recently, idea, I think the the best wide receiver on their team, but in terms of touchdowns, had two touchdowns. Yeah. Cam Newton had one receiving touchdown. They got to get better receivers. Could, could I, I know they, they lost they, a lot they of defensive they get a parts. In the draft. There's a lot of excuses to make for this team, but you got to draft better. They drafted two tight ends, and I think Devin Asiasi got one of his first touchdowns, if not his first one, in Week 17. And they got to. I mean, they just got to draft better recently if they want to get back to where Should they want. I make want. a petition here? Yes. Can we sign? Can we have that dog be be their general manager, Bill <laughs> oh, Belichick's yeah. dog? Well, which pick did the dog make? Oh, I don't know. I don't remember. I it was one of the later ones. It wasn't. Yeah. Well, actually, was the it? best ones. Knowing them, they'll find a quarterback in like the sixth round this year, and then they'll be just fine. Who knows? Yeah, probably. That's how they do it. But we'll see. I mean, maybe they yeah, have yeah. something in Stidham too. I don't know. Yeah, they still. I, mean, we I still doubt have, it. But... We still haven't seen much of him, so I think yeah. you know you at least keep him around. I would have liked to see him start that last game. I mean, what the heck? Cam Newton's been struggling. Why not just get some more film on Jared Stidham so you can see what you have and compare him to you know some of the people coming out into the draft this year in twenty twenty one yeah, and free agents. So. I, I do think that quarterback is a question for the Watch Patriots. Watch them against Stafford. No. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> uh, you know, obviously quarterback is a question mark after the year Cam had, but also I do think they need an explosive playmaker on offense because it just doesn't look very scary if you're an opposing no. defense. Yeah. All right, they Ryan. had the 15th overall pick, by the way. Yeah, so middle of the pack. Ryan, talk about what you want, what team you want to, and then I got one, and I think we can wrap it up after that. All right, yeah, so obviously if you, if you weren't aware, if you're a first-time uh, viewer of this channel, I am a Texans fan, and – we had a tough year. I mean, it's uh, been pretty good before that. You know, the division title, um, you know, the, we were defending division champs. Didn't work out that way. Went 4-12. and 12. But, I mean, you look at um, our roster. You look at the Texans. I really still think that you feel like, wow, like on paper, that team should be pretty good. Because Deshaun Watson, like, if you're going to know one thing about the Texans season, if you didn't watch one snap of Texans football, which they weren't on primetime much, so it's very possible, I just want you to know it's not Deshaun Watson's fault. I watch him every week. I promise you he's still playing at a high level. I don't care. I think everyone knows. That I, I know. I, I do. And I think he's getting recognition. I just want to reiterate that because I think it's important. You know, Watson's doing everything he can. He's really, it feels like almost every game except for the blouse, he's putting his team in a position where they can win. Against the Titans twice, the Colts twice. You know, they were beating the Steelers, you know, in the Did fourth you against quarter. the Bears? No, I said, I said not the blouse. I, I just wanted to say yeah. that. But... Here's the issue. It's with the Texans. It's that they had an incredibly tough schedule. They did have some injuries, and honestly, it was just it just felt like it was an unlucky year. They just couldn't win the close games. I think this year they were what? I think they were two and eight in one score games, I believe, or something like that. Last year they were seven and three. You know, so sometimes it's just like you know, depends on what type of year it is. I don't think this team is far. They'll have an easier schedule next year because they finished third in the division. They'll get healthier. They're, they're either going to bring back Will Fuller or sign another receiver in free agency. The defense, the defense needs to get better, but I mean, Bradley Roby missed the last six games. 
Gary Conley missed all year. Justin Reed missed a few games. Once this team regroups and gets healthy with stricter management in, play, in place, with a new culture that the players have expressed that, that needs to be created with that new culture, with a head coach, we don't know who it's going to be yet, with a set system after the turbulent year that was 2020, I think there's no reason why this team should not be expected to make the playoffs. Even after this year, as a fan, I fully expect them to deliver a playoff caliber season because I should. Look at that roster. Look at what Watson did. Without Hopkins, you know, the offensive line is on and off. David Johnson's actually being decent. So if the defense just tightens up and they just win close games, I mean, they almost beat the, they almost beat a lot of teams twice. They're right there. They got to be like one of the best 4-12 and 12 teams of all time. I'm still actually fairly optimistic about my team's future for next year and beyond, but time will tell. Yeah, and I got one more, um, but I do want to add on to what you said Go for it. a little bit, a little bit there. You're right; they're they are in some close games, and Ryan's not being completely biased no, I'm because not he's a Texans fan. It makes sense. I just worry about their draft picks, but I've told Ryan this countless times. They have the roster to be a playoff yeah. team. Heck, they literally had the same roster last year, except Pretty for DeAndre much. Hopkins. Yeah. It feels like, and, and we're the a playoff offense team. isn't an issue. Now really. I don't know if they're going to win that division with the Titans and the Colts. You got to play both of them twice a year, yeah. and then the. What I would assume would be the Trevor Lawrence Jaguars. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Uh, I thought but, about that. Yeah, but I, I just, I think this team's got the talent, and I think they can get it done. And Deshaun Watson, I don't think we'll have another wasted year, as J.J. Watt put yeah. it while talking to him after that last I mean, game. J.J. Watt was right. I mean, he yeah, he, he's right, and I think it's, you know. Was that real? Yeah, yes, yeah. I was real, and I think it shows a lot to <laughs> J.J.'s character. I mean, that's another situation. Will he be back in Houston? I hope so, but if he's not, I get it, but, you know. I mean, he, he, he's right, but... There's he, trade talk yeah. for Watson, by the way. I don't think those are... That, I don't, I don't buy it. I don't yeah. buy it. Um, O'Brien's oh, gone. Yeah, I was going to say. But, yeah, I, I... J.J. Watt saying that, I think it's, you know, really shows to the, you know, the way he puts this on his shoulders and stuff like that. But the key word is one of. Deshaun Watson's not done yet. They'll have another opportunity next year. At yeah, least. I got one more. I feel like we've talked about half the teams that didn't make the playoffs at this point. Hey, but it's you good. Know, it's good. Giving more people optimism. Nothing yeah. wrong with that. I mean, for Sorry, the, the poor fans. teams, the poor teams that we didn't mention. But I want to mention the Broncos. If you're a Broncos yes. fan, we're waiting for this. I think you deserve a mention because you went. F- you got five wins last year, and I mean, there were some close games as well. I think they got talent. Ryan and I were high on the Broncos last year. I mean, they lost their best receiver, and was it week one or week two? It was early. I, I mean, know. they lost a lot of their key parts Bondor. earlier on. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, best they defense, they, arguably best offensive and best defensive players potentially yes. that they lost. I mean, there was just like it was just unfortunate. Like that's we're talking a lot about about yeah. these teams that just had unfortunate circumstances. Drew Locke's been getting better towards the end of the year. Yeah. He's still been a bit inconsistent, but in that third year, can he make that jump? Yeah. Kind of like Josh Allen did. Junior oh, jump. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> um, but. There's this another team just to throw out on the radar. So yeah, I'm just gonna throw one out real quickly. I'm not gonna go into any detail on it, but we forgot the Raiders. So oh, oh, yeah. the Raiders gotta be on this list too. The they Raider are, Raiders kind of similar, you know. They got get better. They, on they got the pieces. No they more just, blown coverage. They just need to keep it going and and don't face mask Ryan Fitzpatrick yeah. and then leave a guy wide open. Anyways, that's the video. So thank you guys every for watching game. This video. Just go into it with the mindset yep. of exactly what he said. Then you make the playoffs. Easy, simple as that. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, comment your opinions about these teams we mentioned down below. If we did forget any teams, let us know. Um, and then we'll, I'll probably respond to you and say, oops, our bad, or yeah. we don't think they're going to make playoffs. Oops. But that's the, how it's going to be. So thanks for watching this video once again. Oopsie. And with that, we will see you guys later. See ya.